Welcome back to Farming Simulator 2015 with the Rude Man. And looks like my silo stuff's going across the top of the screen there. The only thing I have in is silage. And, uh, but in the last episode where we left off uh, was we were working on some stuff. Um, finishing our harvest is what we were doing. I was washing and putting uh, equipment away. And let's see, we had this guy was just finishing up his field, which looks like maybe he's done. Yeah, sure looks like it. Okay, so let's uh, get his stuff put away. And um, let's see, I had a little problem with the uh, the cattle poo and I think I've I think I've fixed the problem I'm not entirely sure but I'll go and tell uh, show you what I'm talking about let me get up here where my trailer won't roll away or my header and let's uh, drop the wheels Drop that. Grab a hold of uh, this header and head back to town. Well, not to town, to the farm. All right, I'm a professional. Don't do this at home. It's a good thing I'm gonna make lots of money tearing up the equipment. It doesn't go fast enough to jump. I, I came up here with my little uh, get around lawnmower. Oh, that was a hoot. So yeah, I had trouble with the uh, manure and I still don't know for sure what's going on because according to this, I have tons of liquid manure but I have no regular manure now what I'm thinking is that I don't have any regular manure because I don't have it in a silo or a bunker so uh, I kept looking and I didn't have um, any manure and I've had a hundred cows forever and so um, I was uh, chatting with um, Scorpion's Edge and see what he's done on his map because this map came with the manure mod and so you know I couldn't figure out what was going on well and the thing of it is that um, the little bunker that uh, that the manures in never had anything on it or in it and just in the last episode uh, or in between episodes I added a second silage uh, bunker and I moved the manure bunker but there wasn't anything in it so I went back with the Giants editor and I looked at the um, the actual uh, manure is uh, called a plane it's that's the name of the texture it's called a plane and if you have um, if you've ever noticed when you have your trailer full of wheat or canola or um, or any grain and you move your camera up and down like this and you're inside the trailer uh, you know it looks like you're looking inside the 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 wheat and you can't see anything like it's you know empty and uh, in the middle okay well that part uh, that heap of grain that texture that's in your trailer is called a plane in uh, in the graphics lingo I guess uh, at least the gra gra uh, the uh, graphics lingo of uh, of the giant editor so what I did was I took the giants editor and I pulled that uh, silo apart and I pulled the trigger off and I pulled the walls off and there was the plane and uh, the heap 
Uh, so I thought, well, there it is. Why isn't it showing up? Well, just for hoots and giggles, I grabbed it and I pulled it straight up into the air and there was my heap. And, but it's not there. Where is it? Uh, all right, I thought I fixed it. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Stop. Okay, so uh, to explain that better, see this silage here? That that mound here is called uh, a plane. That's the graphics term. Now there's a uh, there's a pile of manure that's supposed to be right here, but it's under the ground, and I didn't realize that. And it it I don't know is it, it may be just like if you remember uh, over there over here. You remember when we started finding stuff, the milk, the milk machine was inside this barn, which you can't get into. You can't get in there. Well, with Giant's Editor, I can get in there, and I found the milk thing, and I placed it, I pulled it out of that barn, and I placed it well over there. Okay, so what I'm thinking is, is that the same thing happened here. For some reason, when the guy that made the map, he put the plane, the heap there, but it was under the ground, so I pulled it out. And I just remembered what I did. I fixed it on the Giants Editor, but I didn't copy it to my game. And if you notice, too, um, I fixed the cattle. Well, I thought I did. Well, I don't know what's happening now, because he was moving before, or she. What's going on? Ah, I thought I fixed it. What I did is, look, I only have $55,000 because I sold all my cattle. And I lost money. Now, see, that one was moving a minute ago. Why have they not? Oh, I'm frustrated now. Thought I fixed it. All right, well, I'll tell you what. I'm going to go. Uh, I'm going to stop the game. Because I've, I've got to. i just got to. i got to fix this. I've been working on this for the last hour. Trying to figure out why I had no manure. Okay, so here's what I'm thinking. Um, once I take it out of there and put it over here in a manure silo, I think it'll show up on my statistics. So that's my next test. All right, so I'm going to be right back, and um, and we're going to test this theory out. Okay, I'm back, and as you see, I have poo, and I'm going to dive in it. Oh. Oh my God, do I have poo. Okay, <laughs> okay. Now I gotta figure a way to get it out of here. I don't think that this machine does poo. I'm pretty sure it doesn't. It does silage, but it don't do poo. No poo down here. No poo, no poo. Um, I'm gonna give it a shot, but I don't think it does. So I'm gonna have to get one of my conveyor belts over here. I think they do poo. I hope so. I hope so. Wait a minute. Oh, that was silage. That wasn't poo. Um, all right. Does this guy do poo? I can't remember whether this guy does poo. All right, I got to check. Sorry. Um, this was a uh, regular one, right? Uh, no, it doesn't do poo. Alright, too bad. What does do poo? Do I have anything that does poo besides the liquid poo pooer? I got manure spreader that does poo, but, uh, and I know the great big one does. These are mods, right? Manure spreaders. The Marshall Manure Spreader. $34,000. Look, it does stinky stuff. Shows right there. There's some stinky stuff. I don't necessarily want a manure spreader. I just want a tractor. A tr uh, you know what I mean. Uh, one of them, yeah. Let's see. I know that my great big one will do it. So let's go back. Um, let's just uh, get him out of the way. Ow, sorry. Oh, man. Problem after problem after problem solved. It just 
something else. Let's get him put away, we'll grab a trailer and come back. We need a tractor. Um, yeah, you know, I, I had a couple hundred thousand. I, no, actually, I had 180,000, and I'm down to 55 because I sold my cattle and then bought them all back to see if I could solve that problem with the cattle just standing around. It's not a big deal, but it's a little irritating when you know they can move and they don't. So, you know, it's, uh, you just want things on your farm to be right. With all the other stuff wrong with this map. Yeah, there's something else wrong here too. See this building right there? Those doors are supposed to automatically open and close. Um, I've got the mod that does it, but I didn't take the time to study and read about it, see how it works, and I don't know if I'm going to, because I don't know if it's that's not a deal breaker to me. Most of the time, it's kind of a pain. Uh, you know, most of the time it's kind of a pain to have to open the damn things up every time you want to get in them. There's, there's two different kinds. There's a kind that is like there's an auto sensor that sees you and automatically opens them. And then there's one where you have to push the O button. I think this is that one. Well, that's a pain. Every time you walk up to the door, you have to stop and wait, hit the O button, wait for it to open and go through. Pain, pain. So I don't know if I'm gonna fix it or not. We'll see. All right, let's see. I need that tractor is what I need, or this one. All right, so, ooh, look, we have, uh, what you dinger? We need to buy more sheep. We got a little wool. Wool's gonna be a pain in the butt, too. Because it's not easy to do with a pitchfork thing, uh, forklift thing in the bobber and doodle. Um, I'm on the wrong end, aren't I? I'm always on the wrong end of something. Yeah, I talked to my wife, we get into a little argument, well, I was on the wrong end. It's easiest to say yes, dear, whatever you want. Then I go lock myself in my studio. Okay, so I think that I can just mosey this thing in there. And, uh, oh, how's this going to work? Oh, uh, yeah, this is going to be different. Let's get, oh, well, let's get a trailer first. Not this one. Oh, that guy needs to go. You need to go uh, do your thing. Drive the course to stop at the last trigger point. And then we'll get this guy, because I'm pretty sure this trailer hauls poo. And, well, I guess I could look, can I? Let's go to mods, tippers, and poo time. There's a little stinky poo right there. All right. When it's poo time in the summer in the city, Now I just got to figure out how to do this because you don't back that one in. You don't back that conveyor belt in. You have to take it in front ways. That's going to be a pain. I didn't realize that. Uh-oh. Oh, I was going to try this and make sure it only did silage. I think it does. I think it only does silage. But let's check for sure. That thing fooled me. All right, let's see. And this guy. Whee! Oh, wrong way. OK. 
Okay, now let's go over. I'm, I, I don't know. I'm just wasting my time, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. Oh, go you back up there. Start that. Yep, 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 yep. You don't do poo. I don't blame you. I wouldn't want to do poo either if I was you. Okay, so then that leaves us with this. And, uh, you know, am I going to get my tractor stuck trying to get him in there? Okay. Just stay put. Just stay put. Let's flip to this. We're going to do this. Okay, now once this bunker's empty, I can pull this thing in somehow. I can get it in there and just leave it in there. All right, here, look, you're messing this up here. All right, how's this working? Well, this isn't right. He thinks he's up all the way. All right, I may have to come down. Stop. Okay, and then let's let's pull this thing here forward. Okay. And back in the truck. And move this over. And then let's turn it on. Um, what's going on? All right. We're stuck in a poo. All right, so I'm not sure if this will work with a conveyor belt. You might have to have a front loader. So that's probably what's going on. All right, fine. We'll do it your way. I don't have a front loader, but we'll have to see about getting one. Always something fun on the farm, huh? Too bad I like these conveyor belts. The conveyor belt says it does manure. That doesn't mean that this heat does. And I think that's the problem. I think the trigger on this is for a front end loader. A bucket. But there you go. Okay, so... That's the only guy that has front-end loader capability. Did I not buy one? Nope. Get one of those. Alright, and then we're going to need one of these for picking up uh, pallets. And I don't have any bales, so I'm not going to worry about it. Silage cutter, universal bucket, fork with grap with grapple. Um, that does manure. Okay, and then 
there's a manure fork. Um, I don't know what the difference is, fork with grapple. Really? All right, I don't know. Did we buy a bucket? Let's get a bucket too. Man, we get all kinds of. Oh, we got all. I was gonna say. <laughs> I was gonna say we get all kinds of crap. We get all kinds of manure. We got some poo stuff here. Winnie the Pooh. Winnie the Pooh. All right, let's go pick it up. You know what, though, I'm dink I'm just dinking around. I could be having these uh, these guys uh, selling stuff. So let's stop him, and uh, we're gonna reset this course. Where does canola sell? <coughs> canola. The ADM. Oh my god, look at the seed store. Oh, uh, we're selling to the seed store. Wow, that's unbelievable. And I don't know if I have a course set for this farm uh, to the feed store. Grain to sell. Yeah, I don't think I set anything up from this farm that I know of. Grain to, bio, grain to seed store. If I did... Yeah. Alright, let's get this guy heading in the right direction. <coughs> okay. So we're going to do a uh, transportation from farm 2 to farm 1. And we're going to let him go and stop at the last trigger point. And then let's get this guy. We need to sell some product here. We're down to 46,000. We're almost, we're almost starving to death. Where's the beef? Alright, it's canola time. Alright, uh, this was on transportation. We want it to be on that one. And we want it to be uh, grain to sell point. We're going to send it to the seed store. And we're going to be doing canola. Canola. <laughs> I laugh every time I hear that. Yeah, we're going to do today, we're going to do canola. No, it's canola. Oh, God, I barely made that. Because it, because I have this set for a big truck, not a tractor. Ooh, that was close. No, well, it's working. Don't complain. All right, let's get this guy. I'm never going to get my equipment cleaned. Okay, no course set. We're going to be doing one of those. We're going to be doing grain to sell point. Uh, we're going to be doing to the seed store. And we're going to run. And we're going to do canola. Drive to course. But you got to wait your turn. Don't be bounding this guy in the butt here. Wait. Good boy. All right, here comes our other truck. Look at the map, mini map down there. Here he's coming. Slow but sure. Okay, we're gonna stop him. We're gonna do that. We're gonna do that. We're gonna do this, and we're gonna do um, seed store, and we're gonna do that. And we're going to do canola. can't believe I'm getting it all done correctly. 
Look at how much product those trailers hold. Look how long it took him to load that trailer. That's amazing. I love those trailers, but they are not realistic. How realistic they have to be, though. It's just a, just a video game. Come on. Oh, they're playing nice. All right, where were we? We were doing stuff. Um, yeah, we were heading to the store. Gonna buy us some, a poo fork and a poo spoon. We'll call it a spork. A poo spork. Okay, first of all, we need to drop our weight. Okay. And then, pull around. Hook up to this. I finally got around to doing a um, Euro Truck Simulator 2 video today. From Poland to, I think it's wine. Um, oh, I can't remember where I went. Oh, well. Uh, do I want to do a, a that or or one of these... Who things? Anyway, I finally got around to. I haven't. I haven't driven my in my game forever. I've just been, you know, with everything's going on with my family and that kind of thing. I've just been really busy, and it takes a little while to get that set up. And, you know, just, you know, so it's kind of nice being able to play that again. I used to. I used to play that thing, you know, oh, 18 hours a day when I first got it. Especially when uh, Christmas came, my wife bought me the uh, the steering wheel and the gas pedals and the gear shift knob. That was cool. The Logitech outfit, um, the Logitech 25, I believe. But yeah, once I got that, man, you couldn't get me off that thing. I was driving everywhere, and I I got my Track IR, so it was cool. And I just haven't been able to do that for the longest time. Okay, so let's see. We need to lower this. Let's put the HUD on. Okay, the first truck hasn't made it to the cell point yet. And we're going to um, do this guy. Okay, that makes it go up and down. Oh, it's one of these mouse things. There, that's what I was trying to figure out how that thing opened. Oh, stop it. I don't want force to play. Oh, I'm going to have to fix that. Open up course play again. Where's the control? Settings? Uh, I haven't done this since the new... Um, oops, didn't mean to do that. Sorry. Nope, don't need to do that. I haven't done this... Huh. Alright, there used to be... There used to be a thing that tells you how to open course play, and you'd select, uh, not the mouse key. You'd select something else. Open HUD with mouse right. Okay, that's it. it just look different. Yeah, left control delete. So on this tractor, I'll have to do left control delete, and then, and then. Uh, so now let's let's uh, scoop up some poo. Okay, why is that not scooping up poo? It's getting nothing. Why is that? Do I have to use a bucket? Alright, let's uh, drop that then. We'll get the bucket. Okay, where's... Uh-oh. I got trouble in paradise. He's there. He's, he's nowhere. How did that happen? Can I get under there?
Well, he made it. What's going on? Why did this tractor not make it? Did he spin out or something? Oh, look, look. Oh, my God. He is. He's spinning out. He doesn't have enough weight. Oh, you're kidding me. What am I going to do? This is the biggest tractor I can get. Outside of the... Uh... Oh, my word. I'm going to have to find a bigger tractor. This is the biggest tractor I can get. More, most powerful outside of uh, that articulated one. Oh, my, my, my. I wonder how... Now, he seems to be doing just fine. Um, but this guy, how's he going to do? Did they empty that already? No. Why is he not getting... Oh. Oh. That's not going to work. All right, I'm going to have to have I'm going to have to change this course. Oh, it's set up for a truck. Oh. Oh, darn it. Oh well. No, 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 don't go yet. Yeah, trouble, trouble, trouble. Okay. It's always something, isn't it? Oh, now who's slipping? Yeah, he can't turn. He doesn't have enough power. Well, these trailers are pretty cool, but oh my word. If I don't have anything to pull them with. I may have to go look for a mod tractor that's got a little more oomph to it. Yeah, the truck seems to be doing just fine. But again, that truck doesn't hold what this thing does, this trailer. I'm surprised it worked out in the field. Look, I can't turn. It's so heavy. The front end's off the ground. I almost made a half a million on that on that one load. What's this one gonna do? Oh, there's a million. This trailer holds an astronomical amount. Oh, look at that! It's like a garbage truck. Isn't that cool? That's amazing. I love this trailer, but look, one one and a half million. That is cool. Now see that truck only had, you know, five hundred thousand. Less than five hundred thousand. This said this thing had over a million worth of uh of of harvest in it. That's amazing. Okay, so he's coming in, but that guy's not going anywhere. Okay, let's see how he does. I'm gonna have to get. I'm gonna have to get the uh, articulated tractors. He seems to be doing okay. I'm gonna have to get the articulated tractors. I wonder how the other one is. Okay, so this one is uh, 692 horsepower. And that one's 565. 565. And and it's uh, a little less expensive, but oh, I don't know. I just don't know. 
I might I might need that much horsepower to pull that. I don't know if that other one's going to work. I'm going to have to test it out on my test world. That is just amazing. All right, let's... Uh, I, I, I got to find out if this guy's going to be able to pick up the poo. Oh, jeez, get out of there. Can you pick up the poo a little bit? Come on, you slowpoke, pick up the poo. Well, I might as well stop that other... I might as well stop that other tr tractor, because he's not going to be able to do this. Let's just stop him and pull him off the road. You're benched, buddy. Sorry. Remember, look twice before you cross the road. Oh, I'll beat him. <laughs> I'll beat the truck with a stick. I beat the truck with a stick. Alright, see if this works. If this doesn't work, then I don't know what's going on. Nothing. Oh man, I just don't know what's going on. Oh, stuck now. I don't know what's going on. Well, there it is. All right, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. So, three million dollars, we, we only made, what, one, two, three, this is the uh, fourth, that was the fourth uh, load. And then the, the other one, okay, that was the fifth load, he's empty and coming back too. So, five loads, three million dollars, oh my word. Well, there it is. I tell you what I'm gonna do. Yeah. How much what do we got left? Oh, that was it. We're done. You're done. Okay. Let's go over here and wash you down. And you're done too. What else do we have in those silos? Oh, just potatoes and sugar beets. All right, he's pretty clean. We'll put him away. But this guy, he duty. Let me clean you off. So, I think I'm gonna. Huh? 
I, I don't know. I want to. I want to get the. Uh, I hate having all the same equipment. I want to try that. That other uh, New Holland, and I and I'm hoping that it's powerful enough that it won't have any trouble. And if it is, I have three million dollars. I'll just sell it and buy the other one. What do you think of that? Man, trailer is dirty. And it ain't cleaning off real quick either. It is coming clean though. This is a cool trailer. Holds a ton of stuff. Actually, <laughs> more than a ton. Several tons. Wow. Tire's muddy and they ain't getting clean anytime soon. Chinese. <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's pick up a new haul, and I'm just uh, curious. Let's buy that. I'd buy that for a dollar. And here we are. Let's take a look at this thing. It's pretty blue. Where's the weights at? Is that the weights on the side there? Or can this have can this thing have separate weights? I don't know. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Oh, this one doesn't have uh, track tracks. It's got tires. I don't know if that makes any difference in the long run, but I hope it's powerful enough. This might be better out in the fields. Let me show you what this plow looks like. This plow is cool. I haven't shown you this. I told you I had it, but I haven't shown it to you. Where's the... Oh, I'm on the wrong end. I told you I was always on the wrong end of stuff. Okay, so we have this plow, right? Let's... Let's pull it out here. Where we can look at it. Why do we? I don't need that horse play stuff. Okay, so watch this. This is cool. All right, so, um, all right, so you can lower the plow. You can unfold the plow, which we're going to do now. That unfolds it. And then um, you can lower the plow. Which I don't really want to do. Oh, geez, I don't really want to do that. I didn't really want to do that. Um, and then when you go, see it, it lines up like that. And then um, then you can turn the plow. So it, it comes in, flips over, and goes out again. And then when you start, it comes back in line. That's just too cool. <laughs> I gotta love it, I tell ya. All right, so how do you how do you put it back together though? Um, turn the oh oh okay uh, yeah I remember it can't it can't uh, fold up for transportation in this one. You have to flip it back over so that the plow is on the right hand side of the tractor 
and then, then you can fold it. But it makes short work, I tell you. It, uh, it runs pretty good. I, I really like it. I had to laugh too, because I can't remember. Uh, I got this mod off of, off of a mod page, obviously. But it was funny because the guy said, please, I only want this mod distributed through uh, American Mod uh, uh, pay, uh, web page thingy. And of course, that's not where I found it. So somebody, somebody didn't care. They just they found it, liked it, started throwing it up on every mod page. But there you go. Anyway, this is the end of this episode, and we finished our harvest and we sold our crop. And gosh, I'm already down to two two million eight hundred. I'm broke. So um, anyway, I don't know what we're going to do next next episode, but uh, we're going to finish planting and go on from there. I want to do some potatoes and some sugar beets, so maybe we'll get into that. In the meantime, happy farming, and I'll see you in the next episode.